Almost surely gaze in wonder at thy gifts so rich and rare. Rivers, valleys, hills and mountains, all these gifts we do extol. Healthy land so like all fountains Give cheer that wants the soul Welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Justice Commentary Of course we're going to react to a video entitled The Hulk lands mini was from oversimplified. Now I've got some other video requests to react to in regards to oversimplified. I've got requests for World War One, World War Two, World War Two, One, Two, One. <laughs> A lot of video requests. American World War some or American War, something like that. So I'm trying my best to react to the video. Of course, thank you for requesting it. We're gonna check out this one. Don't forget, guys, I plan on releasing the video um or schedule a video to be released every day at a specific time. So please let me know what time is best for you or what time you would like to suggest that I should publish all the videos or not all but the videos but the video daily okay thank you so very much for requesting it let's go ahead let's see hi english mariner john strong Ooh. hi anthony english Karras, viscount of falkland i would very much Pink like you to go to chile and locate the wreck of a spanish treasure ship for me oh okay. really okay let's go and see if we can look in a ship uh oh wow i look like all the way africa down then hey i found some islands really that's not where they sent you oh well uh, is that I where I sent him? Probably not the first to discover the Falklands, but they were the first to write it down. They hmm. found it to be cold, wet, and miserable, just oh. like home. So they established a colony <laughs> in 1765, unaware that the French had also discovered the islands and oh, the a year earlier. And for a while, the two were unaware of each other's existence until presumably but it's there was split. An so what's... where they ran into each other. Then the um... Spanish showed up and told the French that a couple hundred years earlier, the Pope drew a line on a map and said all of this belongs to Portugal <laughs> and all of this belongs to Spain, and that the island was oh, in Spain's territory and they would like the French to hand over their settlement. Now, since the two were good friends and Spain was willing to pay in cash money, the French obliged. But since they were still a little bitter about the recent Seven Years' War thing, they made sure to warn the Spanish not to let those dirty English on the other side of the island take over. So Spain went oh. over to the English and explained, Pope, line on map, Spain's island. And the English said, yeah, right, this is our island. But the Spanish oh had more guns, so they kicked them off anyway. But then England threatened to go to war. So Spain went to their friends in France and said, hey, it looks like stuff is about to go down. You in on this? And the French minister of war said, yeah, and we'll launch a full-scale invasion of oui, England oui, in oui, oui, oui. 1066. <laughs> but then King Louis XV said, one, you're insane, and two, you're fired. Sorry, Spain, oh. we're not ready for a war right now. So Spain had to give the English their settlement back, saying it's still our island. And the English said, no, it's our island. Then some colonists what? in North America got a bit But what are they doing down there? Oh my god. To go focus on that, they left behind a plaque that said this is totally still our island. <laughs> that was in Spanish hands. But then a French guy, no, not that one, that one, <laughs> took over most of the country and captured King Ferdinand VII. And in response, the Oopsie. Spanish colonies in South America started vying for independence. So Spain had a little what? bit of What? I've never heard of this island right down there. And for a couple of decades, the islands were left uninhabited except for the penguins, some fishermen, <laughs> and the gauchos, which are basically Ooh. like cowboys, but cooler and Spanisher. And <laughs> <merchants> from Hamburg, <laughs> living in the now independent United Provinces of the Rio de la Plata, heard about the feral wow. cattle roaming the Falklands and thought it would be a good way to make some money. Make some money! So he got permission from wow. the Buenos Aires and the British government to set up trade there as a private venture. Some American ships wow. came down and began oh hunting boy. whales and seals around the islands. And nah. Rene wasn't too happy about it. So he asked Buenos Aires for some military assistance in defending Help! the island. But Buenos Aires said, meh, do it yourself. Gave him some Help! weapons and appointed oh, him the governor of the islands. So he seized the U.S. ships and arrested their crews. In response, two things happened. First, America Whoa. came down and said, Nice settlement you have there. Would be a shame oh, if someone boy. destroyed it. Oh! And then they destroyed it. What? Second, Britain heard Rene had been appointed governor, meaning the United Provinces, actually now the Argentine Confederation, were officially claiming the islands as theirs. So Britain showed up and said, hey, Everybody want to claim the bloody island. island. And since they had more guns, they kicked them off the island. And the Falklands oh, remained firmly in British hands for the next century. They officially became a crown colony in 1840. Port Stanley became the island's capital in 1845. The cattle hides from the island wow. weren't worth much, so they imported sheep from Britain in 1851. <laughs> yeah. The came and went, and all this Whoa. time, the Argentinians never rescinded their claim over the islands. Now it's 1976, and after a couple civil wars, a new brutal military dictatorship sponsored by the U.S. fight against communism has taken oh control in Argentina. Yikes. And by 1981, this guy was in power. 
The economy had been struggling for a long time, and Gautier hmm. had been unable to improve the Decline. situation. Now, if you ever find yourself the brutal military leader of a struggling South American country, and you start getting into hot water, here's a bit of advice that has been tried and tested throughout the centuries. Why is it been so much? Distract everyone from their oh, Gautier boy. knew how popular he would be if he could finally take back Argentina's last Malvinas from the occupying British. There had been proposals to cut British military spending, and the ice patrol vessel, HMS Endurance, had been withdrawn from the area. So the Argentinians wow. assumed the British may not even bother doing anything about the invasion. So they decided to just... capture the largely uninhabited South Georgia island. 600 Argentine troops were sent to the Falklands. The small number of Royal Marines and other British forces stationed there put up a small amount oh, of boy. resistance, but in the end had to surrender Ooh. to the larger Argentine. Time force. Crowds in Argentina wow. celebrated the news, but they were wrong to assume the British would do nothing because the person in charge of the United Kingdom at the time was this guy. Huh. That oh, was a somewhat my good Fasha! But whether you love Fasha or not, there was oh, no shoot. that she was tough. Like Fasha was a tough flicker, for example. Girl. She immediately declared an exclusion zone around the islands and organized for a task force of over 100 ships to set sail for the Falklands. The United Nations expressed oh, concern Fasha. at the Argentine invasion. All South American nations apart from Chile backed Argentina. And since the United States had propped up the Argentine dictatorship, Reagan went huh. to Thatcher and said, Could you maybe just let them have the island? <laughs> and Thatcher said no. Oh, Fatcher's okay, hat boy. Have some weapons. Fighting a war over 8,000 miles from home is a logistical challenge for the British. They requisitioned civilian cruise ships and containers, and they used British-owned Ascension Island as a forward base. By the time they arrived at the Falklands in May, the Argentine forces had had time to entrench themselves. The first task for the British was to gain control of the seas, which they did easily. On the 2nd of May, a British submarine sank an Argentine cruiser. The sinking was controversial, as it occurred what? outside the British exclusion zone. It was also the largest loss of life in a single incident during the war. And in My response, gosh! The Argentine Navy withdrew from the islands. The next task for the British was to gain air superiority. While the Argentine Air Force controlled the skies, they were able to inflict considerable damage on the Royal Navy below. Days after the sinking of the General Belgrano, two Argentine Super Etendars carried out a raid on the HMS ship Whoa. and sank it with an exocet. For weeks, the Argentine Air Force would continue to carry out raids. Jeez, man, for the only could have most of a piece of land. The sea harriers doing their best to take out as many of the Argentine aircraft as they could. While the battle in the white. skies raged on, San Carlos was chosen as the best landing site for the British ground forces. Wow. And the SAS raid took out Why did they just share the bloody land into her? And the HMS Alacrity sailed through... This guy looking like God meant it to be in half. The landing just go half half. First, with Argentine aircraft carrying out full-scale raids on that the is ships though. taking part in the landing, damaging several and sinking a few. But anti-aircraft wow. cannons and sea harriers shot down many of the aircraft in what became a major Ooh. turning point for air superiority, and a beachhead hmm. was successfully formed. Then the ground troops began their movements out of San Carlos, across the north towards Stanley, and south toward the Argentine stronghold at Goose Green. In the following battles, a clear trend emerged. The Argentine wow. conscripts put up a good fight, and with the rough, muddy terrain, the war was by no means easy for the British, but with highly Ugh. skilled Royal Marine commanders and parachute regiment troops, the British would often find themselves taking on larger numbers of Argentinian Boy, how many people actually died in that war in one, huh? For real. The 14-hour-long battle for Goose Green commenced on the night of May 28th. The Goose battle Green. ended in a decisive British victory, with over 900 Argentinians surrendering. Then, with 5,000 reinforcements arriving from the 5th Infantry Brigade, the British started preparing for their final assault on Stanley. In a series of hard-fought battles, they took control of the hills and mountains surrounding the town, as the Argentine forces withdrew with British ships shelling their positions from offshore. Utterly surrounded on the 14th of June, the Argentinians surrendered, and the war was over. The two-month-long war claimed hundreds of lives and left the wow. island strewn with minefields that still pose a problem to this Jeez. day. Argentina still claims the islands, but in 2013 a referendum was held and the islanders voted 99.8% in favor of remaining British. Plus, wow. oil was just found near the islands, so the British mm. probably aren't going to give them up anytime soon. Uh, uh, uh. Oil? That's I have a f that, that's almost like another war in the making. Oil? Wherever there's oil, there seems to be like a battle for the for the land. Because oil, as you know, is ch -ch and it kind of gives you dominance in this world. Okay, but well, not you, like me, but I've been mean, like the governments, the countries, the leaders, all kind of craziness. No, no, thank you for requesting this one. I hope that you guys will we um, enjoyed this video reaction. Of course, this one was the Fall Clan mini war. Of course, uh, Britain's so right up there. Then you've got Argentina. There, you've, there's all these tiny islands that had war, even like my country. There was a bit of a war between the Carinagos, that's like the first people, <coughs> versus um, the discovery of the island. Don't want to go too much into it. Want to look like a hero? <laughs> okay, thank you guys for requesting this video. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. A history is not my strongest suit, so I'm really enjoying this video, of course. Oh, let me just give a compliment, of course, to Oversimplified for this very detailed video and the animation is 
on point. So the animation is great and the information being provided. Thank you so very much for providing this and, um, information to me, my viewers, and of course the millions of persons who have viewed the video already. Thank you so very much guys for requesting this video. I hope that you learn. I have a few more videos to request for oversimplified. I will try my best to react to it. Thank you so very much. Bye guys.